So in that last video, we learned how to pull in NPS-wide visitation data from the NPS API for a specific year, that being 1992. But what if we wanted to pull data from a bunch of different years? We could obviously just copy and paste all this code over and over again, just tweaking the year there. Or we could turn this code into a function, meaning we could turn all of the code steps here into one line of code where the only additional input or uh, argument, as they're called, that we need to feed it is the year. So let's first start off by wrapping this original code into a <laughs> function function um, and then put all our code chunks into some curly brackets. Uh, so we're gonna put the function in the curly brackets here. Oop. Always makes mistakes. And like everything in R, we're gonna give this object a name. Let's call it parkwide visitation. So what happens if we run the function as it is? Well, what we're going to find is it's really not so useful. But let's go ahead and do it anyways. We'll call it test parkwide visitation. OK, what does that look like? Yeah, it's not so useful, right, as it will always pull in data for the year 1992 which, yeah, that was a phenomenal year. That was when I was born. But we want to be able to change it to make this function worth its effort. This is where our arguments come in. So our arguments end up within the uh, pardon me, the parentheses here and are where we name our arguments. We want to change the year. So let's call our argument in here year. When we make our function, this is what we will need to feed it. Um, so to move on here in this example, let's do that by setting our year to 2021 as our default. In our code, we need to put that corresponding year into our URL here. Basically, I'm going to split up this URL using paste zero which basically what that does is it takes listed objects and it transforms them into characters and then combines all of them into a single character string. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the paste zero function in here. We're going to split this up and then replace the year here the year of 1992 with our year argument. And we're going to close the parentheses. Lastly, we're going to want to explicitly call out the fact that we want that final data set to be the output of this function by using return and then putting in final data. I believe that all functions automatically will return the last object in a function, but it's really just good practice if you don't have just one object in the function to explicitly call it out. So here's our function. Let's see if it works. Let's rerun it. And now with this test, we have our argument for year. Let's choose instead of 2021. Well, yeah, let's leave it as 2021. So we're basically saying for this function, we want to update this paste zero um, string of characters to include the year that we fit it. So 2021, let's see if it works. And look at that, the year 2021. For the sake of testing it and testing it some more, let's do another year. Let's do 2010. I 
imagine that. We have data now for 2010. So congratulations again. You have developed potentially your very first function.